Let's take a tour and see trial of this Scout 280 Center Council for sale in Jupiter, Florida. If you're in the market for a serious luxury offshore center council with family amenities that has tons of recent upgrades in service and is in pristine condition, this is one you need to look at. Scout Boats needs no introduction and in 2003 the 280 Center Council was their largest boat to date. With a length overall of 30 feet and a beam of 9 foot 4 inches, there's tons of fishing room for 3, 4, 5 guys on a day offshore. Scout Boats are one of the premier builders of Center Council fishing boats on the market and you know how well reviewed they are. With 100% composite construction, there's no wood whatsoever so you never have to worry about transoms rotting, stringers rotting, nothing like that on this beautiful Scout. This 2003-280 is a one owner boat and it just recently received $15,000 in upgrades and service. Powered by beautiful twin 225 Yamaha four strokes. She boasts a realistic top speed of 53.3 miles, which you'll see in the sea trial coming up. Tons of fishing space in the cockpit, huge oval live well, you can see there recirculating, and that's great for keeping the bait fish fresh with that oval shape, and it's right where you want it on the transom. Great for fighting prize fish and keeping the bait fish fresh. Huge fish boxes that are macerated so they don't drain into the bilge. Scout thinks of all that stuff, stainless struts there, and you can see all the stainless work on this boat's in beautiful condition. Folks, this is a 2003 boat. Look at others on the market. If you've been looking at other boats of rust, mold, mildew, and junk everywhere, take a look at this one. This is one of the most beautiful 2003 boats you'll ever find. Very functional layout on the bait prep station. You can see that nice stainless gas assisted strut for the lid for the bait prep sink and lockable tackle center there with three drawers and slots for your knives and everything that you need to be secured. And that lock, so if you're going over to the Bahamas and you want to keep everything secure, you can sleep easy at night. The bait prep sink can be fresh water or salt water with the selector switch that's on this boat. This boat came with every possible upgrade as well as the fresh water and salt water 55 psi washdown. Very nice for cleaning up the gear. Huge storage on both sides of the leaning post and that's great for rod storage as well and those are lockable. Beautiful powder coated T-top matching the gel coat and those have brand new LED spreader lights for knife fishing. Access to your battery switches. This boat has three batteries all mounted in the console instead of in the bilge so they stay nice and dry. That's how you want it. And the vinyl work here on the captain's seat as well as all the cushions on this boat are in terrific condition. Great footrest with storage. You got four brand new six and a half inch marine speakers, your cup holders, a beautiful Edson style steering wheel, and that's a tilt Sea Star steering wheel. You have your Linko hydraulic tabs your Yamaha binnacles control, and look at all the 12 volt switches. Go look at some others on the market and know how all the switches are sun faded, you can't read them. Oh, what a change this boat is. It's in beautiful shape. All the gauges are in beautiful, pristine condition. And with $15,000 worth of service and upgrades on this boat, you have a brand new Simrad system. You have a touchscreen GPS and fish finder, high definition chirp display, which most would consider one of the top of the line units in the marine industry today. Beautiful display, very vivid and crisp compared to some others on the market. And the sunlight viewability of that Simrad is great. Very nice Simrad VHF mounted to a Shakespeare antenna on the T-top. Brand new Fusion Bluetooth stereo system with amplifier and four marine speakers and it sounds great as you could hear there. There's your Lenko electric trim tabs your Yamaha binnacle controls, and just a beautiful layout. And here's why nothing is sun faded. Scout Buzz does something that you don't see any other manufacturer doing. And it's great for security too. Once again, when you're over in the islands in the Bahamas, it's a great feature for keeping everything out of sight, out of mind, as we say. Just a great electric closing hatch. And there's actually a special routine to get that to open. It doesn't just function with the battery switches. There's an additional step necessary for security purposes. Great electronics box on the T-top. There's your horn. And this one comes with the Rupp Top Gun Outriggers, which are the top of the line undermount outriggers. You can adjust them from the bottom there, and they are great for fishing. 
This boat does come equipped with the forward facing spreader as well as those two rear facing spreaders as well. And that blue T-top just looks so great with the sapphire blue gel coat on the outside of this hull. Look at those beautiful combing posters. That's something you don't see on most boats. 360 degree all around the boat and they are in beautiful condition. There's no rips or tears or anything. And that low profile stainless bow rail is something that you only see on brand new boats. Just beautiful. Really nice head locker here and there's six foot four inches of storage room here and you can climb in there there's also a plumbed head with ventilation and that's also lit as well great to have that in any emergencies and there is a waste tank on the boat which can be pumped out at a marina if necessary huge bow area this is a popular spot when you're going out for those evening cocktail cruises or headed to the sandbar with your friends and family there's no lack of space on this beautiful scout 280 sportfish that forward facing helm seat is a very popular spot for your friends and family when they're out enjoying the wind in their hair on a nice ride on a beautiful day like today in Jupiter, Florida. Great cooler there as well. You can fill that off with ice. It's insulated. Great for the drinks when you're headed out with the sandwiches or what have you to the beach. Scout thinks of using all space. There's so much storage on this boat. Look at this huge locker down in the floor. You can keep rafts, anything in here. And look at those polished hinged locker doors. I mean, they're in beautiful high gloss shape. Look at that, it's vented in the bottom so it drains very easily so your stuff doesn't get all wet and moldy and mildew. They really, luxury boats like Scout really go that extra level to make sure everything is the way it should be on a beautiful boat. Note, everything is on those stainless gas assisted struts. There's your stainless dive ladder that's included with the boat. Note the cleanliness of these compartments. Guys, this is a one owner boat since 2003. It's been in the Jupiter area its whole life. There's the covers for the engines. That's why the cowlings are pristine. And there's also a helm cover there as well. Look at the cleanliness of the compartments. If you're sick of looking at boats with mold, mildew, and rust stains everywhere, you owe it to yourself to look at the difference in this boat. Beautiful fortress anchor. That's your main anchor. You can keep that in the bow roller if you like. And there's also a sandbar anchor in there for the rear as well. Just a huge layout here. Remember, nine foot four inches of beam is exceptional on a boat this size. That's why you have so much room on the side of the council and taking it back to the stern. And with that deep, sharp entry in the front, just a beautiful boat. That blue top rear at the powder coating really sets it off at the hull. The engines currently have 1,150 hours of pampered time on them. And with a recent $10,000 service, which included the brand new midsections on both engines and oil pumps, Oil was done, thermostats were done, gear oil was done, water pumps were done, everything. Even brand new stainless heads on the Record filters that are in the bilge. Everything was done on these boats so that they're turnkey. And as you know, the Yamaha 225 four-strokes have a reputation for going three, four, five, even 6,000 hours with relatively minimal maintenance as long as those midsections were done. And they were just done with receipts in hand for the next proud owner of this beautiful Scout. The shifts are smooth and precise. That's because they have brand new Yamaha throttle cables and shift cables on both the port and starboard side. Top of the line Sea Star steering on this boat, and that is the Sea Star upgraded tilt helm with that beautiful stainless Edson style steering wheel with speed knob. Just a beautiful layout. Look at the shine on the gel coat of this boat. It's just unbelievable for a 2003 boat. If you've been looking at other boats with rust, mold, and mildew, as mentioned before, the interior and exterior of this boat you just cannot believe how good it is. It is in amazing condition for a 15, 16 year old boat. Unbelievable. And with all the nice upgrades, remember $15,000 for recent service. All right, let's get her out here on plane on a beautiful day in Jupiter, Florida. This is what it's all about. You can imagine being the captain of this beautiful Scout 280. Lay down the throttles. We're gonna get her up very quickly on plane. You can see minimal bow rise. A lot of these bigger center councils, that bow really rides high, not on this Scout 280. It's very easy for the captain to see over the console. Max efficiency is right here on plane at 3,800 RPMs and 30 miles per hour. You can see how she just eats up the chop. Folks, if you're sick of getting banged around and having your friends and family have to hold on to the sides of the boat when you're going over wakes, when you upgrade to a boat with a 30-foot LOA and a 9-foot 4-inch beam with a deep V running surface made by Scout, there's a big difference in the way you're going to be going out on days when others are still at the docks. Scout is known for their high-end yacht quality finish, and that's why you see these boats often towed behind mega yachts or used as tenders in some of the finest yachts in the world. That's because the fit and finish of the Scout is with no compromise. 
A fast cruise on this boat would be 40 miles per hour, and that's at the 4300, 4400 RPM range. So these engines are barely working, and that's why they're the top rated power. The 225 horsepower was the top rated power in the 03 model year. Most modern era boats, you're looking for a 30 mile an hour cruise or the 40 mile an hour top speed. In this boat, you have that option of a 40 mile an hour cruise because this with the 225s can hit a top speed of 53.3 miles per hour, which we'll demonstrate shortly. Let's pull back the throttle just to lay off the engines while we're passing a paddle border, but let's use this moment just to show you how well these Yamaha 225 four-strokes return back to idle, meaning no hunting, no surging, no stalling, right at 600 RPM, which is the manufacturer's stated OEM specification for the idle on these four-stroke 225s. And as you know in the industry, Yamaha four-strokes command the highest resale. They are the most popular outboard engines on the market with the largest market share for offshore fishing boats. Here we are in the beautiful Jupiter Inlet. A little gusty wind today, but this boat handles it no problem. And you're going to see, we're just going to run through some of our wakes to show you how dry she is. In fact, today I was blown 15 to 20 miles an hour off the ocean, and we didn't take any spray whatsoever. The boat has a beautiful chine design. It's deep V, but it's rounded off to a chine on the edges. And that creates a very smooth, dry ride without any banging or pounding. That's really a hallmark of the Scout Hall. At Wave 1 Marine, we've been selling boats online through our video tours and comprehensive sea trials for 15 years. We're proud to say on eBay we have 100% feedback for every boat that we've sold. We spend hours videotaping each boat, taking pictures, testing each boat, so you as a buyer cannot waste your time and make a confident, informed decision on the boat you want to purchase. Now let's lay down the throttles to the wide open sea trial test. Most dealers don't want to do this. Most owners are hesitant to do it. We're not afraid to show you because this boat is pristine, folks. These 225 four-strokes, listen to the sound of the engine. These things sound like jet engines. It's 6,000 RPMs, which by the way, is the manufacturer's stated RPM for top speed. There we are, 6,000 RPMs. And today, after we let this boat run once or twice at that speed, we were able to hit 53.3 miles per hour. Listen to those engines. You're flying on this scout. Folks, for a 30-foot boat, 53 mile an hour tough speed is flying. Not only does it run and operate well, but for the 2003 boat, look at the outside of this boat. There's not a nick. There is not a blemish in the bootstripe. It's in phenomenal condition. Really, take a look at other 15-year-old boats and then compare it to this one. There's really no comparison whatsoever. It has a mirror finish in the sides of this boat. It's an incredibly beautiful boat. Thanks so much for watching this video tour and sea trial. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.